So we've got the PlayStation Plus games downloaded and ready to play. And first up, we're checking out Shadow of Colossus. Now, I'll be honest, I have no idea what to expect from this game. I've only ever seen a little bit of gameplay for it, and that was literally when the reveal happened. I've heard of the game, but never seen anything of it. Now, as usual, we're going to try skipping all the cutscenes just to get to the opening bit of gameplay, just to see how easy the game is to get into. Now, granted, when it comes to games that I've never played before on new genres, um, I tend to look very, very noobish, but I don't care. We're just seeing what the game looks like, seeing whether it looks like it's worth a download for you guys. Right, there we go. We have skipped all the cutscenes and stuff. We're ready to play. Uh, Graphical-wise, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, you guys won't be able to see it on the video, but it's got full HDR, so all the lighting and stuff looks really, really good. But I've no idea what I need to do. It's literally just stuck me here and not told me where I need to go or anything. Press X to jump. Right, okay. Can we, can we get on the horse? In a sunlit place, right, okay. Is it is it not gonna let us move the horse? No? Okay. A little bit weird. You can get on a horse, but you can't actually use it. Um, is that supposed to do anything? I literally have no clue. I don't even think there's a tutorial for this game. And it's just one of them things that I like to do when I play. Just to see, I know tutorials get really, really irritating. And I tend to just jump into the game, skip the tutorials, just to see whether or not it's easy to kind of figure out the game. But at the moment, I've no idea where I need to go or anything. All it says is, press R1 and focus when you're in the light. So where do we actually need to go to? Anywhere? I have no idea. Right, let's see if we can get on our horse. It's coming down. Maybe we can use it out here. Um, control the rain. Right, okay. So you have to press triangle to kick your horse to make it actually move. I mean, graphical-wise, it does look nice, but the fact that I have no idea where I need to go or what I need to do makes it a little bit irritating. Like, I'm literally just going to run around and explore just to see if anything pops up. So that's where we are at the moment. I'm presuming that line's where we've been rather than where we need to go. But there's no marks on the minimap or anything. Right, let's try going back over. But I didn't see anything to interact with. It didn't say anything apart from going in the sunlight and pressing R1. Maybe instead of coming out of the place, we should be exploring more inside. I have no idea. Right, you have to keep tapping the same button to actually go, otherwise... What? Can we not walk up the stairs? How do you get off the horse? Oh, X to get off. Right, okay. Yeah, as soon as you stop tapping like the run button for the horse, it completely stops you. So maybe we need to go down this way? I have no clue. Horses like I'm faster than you. Anything that we can interact with. I have no idea where I need to go. See, so yeah, I was so intrigued by the game just because of the way that it looked graphically and some of the gameplay that I saw, but literally I have no clue where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. Like, I skipped the cutscenes, which were just cinematics, but it didn't give a hint towards what you're actually supposed to do in-game. Like, I suppose if you've got a lot more patience than me, you'd probably play it and enjoy it. If I can't figure out what I need to do in a game, and it gets to the point where it irritates me, I end up never touching it again. 
Wow. It's like walking in a circle simulator. And then fall off and nearly die simulator. No, actually fall off and die simulator. Awesome. See, so all that's done is shown us where we've actually been. I've no idea what I'm supposed to do though. Like, there isn't anything on, like, the hood or anything that gives you an idea of where to go or what you need to do. Well, there you go. There's the second game for PlayStation Plus. Downloaded and ready to do some gameplay on. Any of you guys that have actually played this, if you could leave a comment and kind of give me an idea what you're actually supposed to do, it'd be so helpful. Because at the moment, I have no clue. It's not telling me where I need to go. It's not telling me what I need to do. It's kind of just open to the point where you can explore, but at the same time, no idea what I need to do. Like, literally, there could have just been a button or something that I needed to interact with behind me right from the start of the game. But it's why I kind of do these videos. If it's easy to get into a game, fantastic. If it's not, then you guys kind of have a bit of a heads up that it's not going to be the easiest thing to kind of just jump straight into. But there wasn't even a tutorial. Right, I'm going to be really stupid and just jump off. Like, I did actually mean to do that. Because then it should just spawn us right at the start. And it just saved us running around in a giant circle. See, now be on your way. It's the only thing that it actually tells you. In a sunlit place, and look to where the beam focuses. That's the only thing that it's kind of shown. Ah, right, okay. So that means we need to go... That way? A little bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Like, maybe if I had a Reddit properly from the start... So we just need to run straight down here. Right, we figured it out. As I said though, it's different. On most games you get used to just looking at the map and it's showing you where to go. The fact that this one doesn't... Again, we'll skip all the cinematics. Anything proper story-wise, I'd rather not kind of get into. Just because I don't want it to be a spoiler. Even though it probably showed where we needed to go. Let's go back out into the sun, see if it points to where we need to go. So you have to actually be in sunlight to kind of be able to figure out where you need to go in the game. It's different though, I suppose. But now there's no beam of light. I have no clue. It could be a really cool game though when you get into it. It's the only thing. I don't want to just say no, it's awful, avoid it. Mainly because it looks... It, the graphics on it make it look decent. But trying to figure out where to go. Can you climb? Yes. Right, okay. So you have to keep hold of it to climb, but it won't let you grip onto the ledge. So how do you actually get up there? Right, okay. Like, the mantling feels a little bit awkward, but... Not majorly bad, I suppose. I, I've seen worse mantling in games.
But I suppose I do all the awkward bits so you guys don't have to. If you end up watching the video, you kind of already have an idea where you need to go at the start. If you don't want to do the tutorials and stuff. So we pretty much, by the looks of it, just have to get to the top of here. I'm guessing we have to go round. And then probably try jumping off and grabbing all of that ledge. Which did it work? Right, okay. Like, once you figure it out, it's not too bad. It is just kind of figuring out the game. If you've never played it before, you've never really seen much of it. Right, what's this? Is this like the first giant thing? Ooh. Right, let's skip. Again, don't want to kind of do much in regards to the story. It's a switch weapon. Right, am I supposed to try and kill this? How do you kill a giant stone thing with a bow and arrow? Wow. This is a big dude. Right, I'm guessing now it should let us climb further up him. If we did it right. No. Well, there you go. That's like 12 minutes of the game. I'm not going to do much more of it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. It definitely does look cool. It definitely looks like it's worth a play. It just looks like it's a little bit awkward to get into if you've never kind of seen or played the game before. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.